Hey everybody, Arco here. Welcome to the seventh round of the second season of the Kill Pete Open. We are playing Reverse World Progressive Zombies in this round. And this time we are the purple player. In the fifth position, okay. We have a lot of material. Focused in the south. There is a zombie seven on a portal. That is gonna <laughs> that is gonna mess some stuff up. Okay. What can we even save? Not sure if it'll be even possible to save stuff. And I'm not sure where the portal RNG is going to be. But anyway, these are the full list of settings. Progressive zombies, 90 second turn timers with unstable portals on reverse world. Players in the game, we have Steadman Do, an expert. Uh, I am Rugster, Grandmaster. Uh, Brittany Balasumbramanian, <laughs> long name there, uh, an expert as well. Ourselves. And last position, Samboy. Master, technically Grandmaster. Played with Samboy and Rugster before many times. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Huh. There are alliances. I can't remember if there are supposed to be alliances on or not, but we'll accept them all. May as well. Oh! Rugster smacks the zombie seven. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well that just changed the entire game up. Now there will be fewer casualties, I think. based on that opening move. Now, because he did that, I'm kind of... <laughs> The greedy player in me kind of eyed up that top right bonus, Eastern Arctic. I'm not entirely sure. There's a heart rugster for killing the zombies there. I'm not entirely sure if that'll be possible. Attack green. Of course he wants me to attack green. <laughs> okay. What can we try and save? Hmm. Well, in case this goes left, we'll add a troop here. Then I think we have to put the rest up here we'll leave our five there and we will combine uh, I'll flip and no these down that way We're all containing uh, the zombie stack in the north, weirdly enough. Let's 
So I'm not sure. Not sure who that'll mess up when it comes to the, uh, the a possible zombie infect stage. Because Rugster taking that 7 out means the zombies will be way weaker than what they're supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, zombies only get nine. Okay, they do head west through some portals. A decent amount of stuff is still going to get hit. Ooh, Ruxter's gonna lose his three to that six zombie. Oh, our two is saved. Okay, but not his second three. So Ruxter's down to 15. He's the one who got hit the most, I think. Everybody else is relatively unharmed. Sam boy still has 29. A lot of his stuff survived. <laughs> Ruxter's not happy that the zombies got their revenge on him. Pink seems to be slowly trying to claim that bonus. Not sure how possible that's going to be. Still pretty undecided on what to do. <clears throat> part of me wants to go for that bonus. But another part of me just says combine the twos in the middle. And have a bunch of positions. Which is probably smarter. Unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably what we'll be doing here. Portals are closing. So we'll make this a three, because three on one against zombies is 100% balanced blitz. And we'll add a troop here. And a troop. Over there.
Oh, shit. Okay, zombies infect yellow. Bearing planes. Oh, in the top right, that's an eight. Oh, shit. Where does that go? Please tell me that goes down to the white four. That's best case scenario here. I'm not aware of the pathing. Come on, down to the white four. Oh boy. Yes, white four. Yes! <laughs> oh shit! That's really good for us. A lot of that stuff's being cleared now. Okay. We are now doing really well. Now, although the zombies had a really early infect, I think that was turn two, yeah. Or start of turn three infect. I'm not sure if it's possible for them to infect again. They might, because we still have a lot of troops. Compared to... Like, a lot of troops as a collective added together against the zombies. So there might be a chance... But either way, we're still, we still have six positions, which is insane for a zombies match. A lot of the unstable portals are on player territories and not zombies, but we might still want to add I want to add at least a troop on the left for sure. And then maybe one in the Mediterranean area? If we don't add one in that area, we might be okay. <clears throat> yeah, one for here for sure. One up here, just in case these fours go crazy. And then I think we'll get our card and eventually combine these two and go into a five position play. Yeah, something like this sounds all right. We'll combine those next turn. And we will stay off the portal. In the center there. How are we doing for cards? All right, nothing. Nothing too fancy yet.
Okay, moment of truth. Okay, no infect, but the zombie's getting 75. Oh boy. I don't. Okay, wait, this is a two. Another two dies, okay. So I think our stuff remains fairly unharmed. So that's good. Yellow is guarding. Attack yellow, Rugster. We're, <laughs> we're on the fourth turn. I can't really afford to be trying to feed something here at the moment. I believe four on two against zombies is a hundred percent. So I might add all up there on my six to try and save that. Just in case the zombies still decide to go a bit crazy up there. If they double minus one, that would ensure that that would be safe. But if they double plus one, then I'm screwed either way. Ah. <laughs> uh gracious okay yellow opens up that path no major zombies can get in there so that should be safe for now and if they double everywhere else the stack should be okay so we'll just continue to try and save this position lost a troop but that's fine we will just combine those positions together. Uh, do we have a set? We do. Just in case some early bounty shenanigans happen. Okay, no infect. Zombies get two everywhere, okay. That is an unstable portal on the Zombie 11. Okay. 
Okay. That may be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Rookster ending the alliance as if we're playing with Fug. <clears throat> Hmm. Pink moves up, so we can't really combine that stuff. Ruckster moves on to the portal. That might be a mistake. Because even if the zombies only get one. That portal might be there. So I think we don't invest any on the right side. Because if the zombies portal through Sam's 3, even if Sam adds there and it gets knocked in, so we'll only lose a minimum amount of troops if that happens. I think we need to invest in saving this spot. That spot. The other spot is fine, so maybe this one again. And now I'll put it over here. All right, no wild cards. Trading in the dudes. Ah, he moves off the portal down there. Smart. Hindsight, I shouldn't have added one down there, maybe. But we'll see where the zombies path. They only get 40, so they're only getting one per. We'll see if this 12 hits Ruxter's 6 first. Yeah, it does. And our stuff at the top is saved. Really rough game for Rugster. Thumbs downing me for some reason. <laughs> Do you have any plus twos? Nope. Dang, my cards will be adding zombies all around those positions down there. So that'll be useful.
mix another position there. So we keep our five positions very importantly. He has the one spot down there. Yeah, something like this should be okay. Ooh, we got the set. Nice. <clears throat> oh, and was that Sam set or one of our one of the earlier sets? It just added two zombies beside Rugster's five. So Rugster's gonna lose his five. Holy shit. Rugster's down to one position. I'll have to see if that was Sam or someone else. There goes that. So if Pink has a trade on three, they should trade and take out Rugster here. Doesn't look like they're going for it. Does Rugster have a trade? No. And he hits pink. Does yellow have a trade to go for that? Oh. 
Yellow sets. Probably going to take out Rugster here. If they do, we have a set and we can go for Yellow's five cards. Damn, they get good rolls on the zombies as well. And a decent enough roll on the nine. So we get the 20. Oh, this is so close. Oh, we lost the roll. 70%. Unfortunate. Maybe should have given a slow roll to increase the odds. Maybe one troop less over here. Ah, shit. I had the 7v4 ones. 7v zombie 4 versus a couple ones to take those out in case I got, you know, bad dice on that, but still getting the roll. So pink has a trade on four. They go after yellow and then white. Okay, there is the trade from pink. They are going after Yellow's bounty. <clears throat> and they get it. Well played. Uh, apologies to Yellow there for the semi-feed, but going for your five cards, was I, th I still think that was my best choice. My mistake was maybe adding one or two to fewer troops over here. It was a really tight kill either way. All right, so pink's going to go after white now, weirdly. Well, not... 
I guess not weirdly, this is to continue to chain stuff in. They need to go a bit quicker than this, though. While this is 90 seconds, they're running out of time. I need to keep my position alive over here. And then I will get out of Samboy's way. In case he wants to go for pink on his next turn. Oh, we get a wild card again. Alright, so we're next on the chopping block. Portals all over the place. <clears throat> Does pink not have a set? Oh man, this is interesting. No trade. Okay, so here's the situation. Okay. I need I think I need to get rid of Pink's middle position. And then have Samboy go for Pink's kill and not quite be able to get it. It's really close. Fuck, I hate being in this position. Why didn't that 70% roll just win earlier? Ah. <laughs> 
Fuck. Uh. <sighs> I hate doing that. Okay, Sam doesn't go for the Sam doesn't go for the kill though. Interesting. I guess the 16 v zombie 9 and 15 is a little tight. Portals are open. Pink, I think, can kill me easily still. Yeah, it's on the 40 trade. Huh. <sighs> I'm not going to suggest to Pink to attack White thumbs up, thumbs down, because after what White and I just did to them, that'll probably piss them off even more. Here comes Pink to kill me. No. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> what do we do here? Going for a bounty here isn't profitable. Still take cards. Okay.
man, Sandboy is wondering where to hide now. There's an unstable portal on Pink's 34 and 17. Sandboy's 23 and my 10. What happens here? Okay, if Pink doesn't trade and Samboy does. Sandboy might have enough to take out pink. Trades are 50? Probably will have enough. off the portal. No trade. Ah, shit. So if Pink has a trade, they win. If Pink doesn't have a trade, then oh god. Okay, Pink has the trade, they're gonna go for Samboy. I'm pretty sure they have it, which means we will end in third, because the zombies do count for placement. So we get another eight points, Ugh. which will be enough to qualify us for the next round, I'm pretty sure. But I don't think that's enough to qualify to round nine. We'll have to go into next week. see where our fate in this tournament lies. It should be more than enough. Oh? Uh, they, even if that failed, they had the 24 to come around through the 1398 zombie at the top.
I'm looking a bit screwed. I think our best bet is to roll the 35 and hope for a good roll. Ah, we get bad dice there as well. And no trade on three. So that'll be the win for pink. Even if they have no trade on four. Zombie goes up and whacks our seven. Needed to split. Needed to make that an eight and then a six over here, I guess, in hindsight. Oh, man. Good game. And they had the trade on four anyways. Well, <laughs> See if they want to kill the zombies first or not. They don't, they're not obligated to at all. Yep, they're getting right for me. Perfect. Alright. Good game. So that'll be, as mentioned earlier, eight points. Uh, yellow got the bounty on Rugster. And then pink got the bounty on everybody else. Ninety percent sure. So I think that is a 20 point game for pink. Stead man do. And then a seven point game for Brittany or yellow. Two points for Rugster. Six for Sam Boy, eight for ourselves. And now Steadman Do is gonna clean out the zombies. I think they have to survive three turns or something. I forget exactly what the official ruling was, but. Yeah. Yeah, that 70% roll on yellow was the difference between us potentially snowballing and uh, ending in, I guess, third. We ended third instead of fourth because of our lucky trade on three. And with Samboy not having a trade himself. Oh, man. There we go. There's the official end of the game now. So GG's once again to all our opponents. As mentioned earlier, that will be uh, 
eight points for third, which brings us up to 87. So I believe that qualifies us for round eight, but does not advance us to round nine. So our fate will be determined in the next round, whether we make it to that final 96 or not. But yeah, GG's again to everybody. That'll be sometime next week, depending on the scheduling. And until then, take care and cheers for stopping by.